Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today is Fern Vasquez and Melanie Salins. They are from the Warren County Coalition and we're going to talk about an event that's coming up on November 24th. That's two o'clock at the Warren County Community Center. Melanie, tell me about it. Well, we have Kelly Richmond Pope um, coming to show All the Queen's Horses, which is a documentary that she produced. Um, it's about the largest embezzlement in United States history. It was over $50 million in Dixon, Illinois. And uh, Kelly has her doctorate in forensic accounting. So she's going to show her film and then do a question and answer seminar afterwards to try and help our community find out what went wrong, and how to Give us some ideas. Right, and exactly. I think she's the here rebuilding. To, I think the what rebuilding. she's here for is researching her new book for the biggest investment in It'll be more than $50 million by the time it gets done. No, I'm just kidding, but we hope not anyway, right? Uh, it'll be interesting. It's kind of appropriate for what we have going on in our community. to, And I'm sure she investigated a lot of this, uh, and she'll tell us stuff in her movie. But it sounds very interesting. I think it's it's really kind of neat. Where have they played this movie at? Has she traveled around and got a book? and she, Or just a movie, really? It's not a book. It's just a movie. It, it's the documentary that is, is what I know about, and it's, it's uh, won several awards, huh. um, which I can't list off the top of my no, head. No, no. But, uh, but, yes, she travels the country and, and shows the film, and um, she volunteered to, to come out here and oh, help our community. Great. That's great. So, yeah, it's a re it'll be a real positive this is event. A, is this a no-charge event? Completely Correct. free. Completely, Completely free. free. Everybody yes. is invited. Yes. That's yes. at the Warren Community Center. That's the old Samuels Library on Villa that is yes. Avenue. Correct. That is correct. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Yes. Is it going to have popcorn? No, no popcorn. Uh, actually, actually, we, we're, yeah. we've just talked about that. There, <laughs> we there may are, be a we few will kernels. Have snacks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, I mean, you got to have some popcorn, right? Yeah. Right. But it, it, you know the gist of this. Uh, what was the background on this here? Did you study any of the, you know, any more information to tell us about this embezzlement? Uh, well, yes, I, I watched the, the documentary already. Okay, all right, so um, you can give us the, the and, teaser. Well, well, the big positive is, and not to spoil the end of the movie, sure. but the, the big positive is that Dixon, Illinois, ended up recovering the majority of the money that was embezzled. And I think that's the huge takeaway here is, um, you know, there is a community where this happened, and they got their money back. So we need to learn from this how they did it so that we can get our money back as well and how to they completely restructured their government um, provided more training to their government officials to the citizens and um, are preventing this from happening again going forward because a lot of times this happens in communities and then it actually ends up happening again and again uh, yes. and it's yeah, happened right. in virginia we know yes. several times and around the country this is not just uh, something that happens to Dixon, Illinois, or to Front Royal, Virginia. This is a common thing when people get complacent and they just think, well, it's like, well, I'm not going to vote. They're doing a good job. Or, you know, it's just like, well, they're the government. They're going to do what they want. Uh, and you know, as you well know, and the things of influence you've done on the county in just a short time you've had the Warren County mm -hmm. Coalition, I think you've, you've influenced the, the county in good or bad. I mean, okay. some think well, one way or the you. other, but I think it's been, inf it's been an influence. And, um, uh, I think part of that is we can see what happened in the last election. I mean, we are literally going to have a new Board of Supervisors majority mm -hmm. coming up in the election. I think that's in, in part to people getting out and becoming aware of what's going on and their eyes opening up and saying, well, wait a minute, what happened? And yeah. we all have brought that attention. I noticed you and the Royal Examiner, we've exposed a lot of these things by just mm -hmm. continually going to meetings and speaking out and speaking out and speaking out. And, uh, One of the interesting things about this film, I think, we'll, we'll be able to see exactly how it happened. She lays where, it all out. Where the mm -hmm. fault lines were. Yes. Why the auditors didn't pick up on it. Uh, how she basically got away with it for a time. And not only how she got away with it for a time, but then how things started falling into place where people started saying, okay, now we get it this really bad thing happened, and you can sort of trace it and see um, sort of an autopsy right, right. on exactly how it happened. And then the interplay of the, uh, the officials, uh, the, the law enforcement, 
how all this, and we're in that process right now. Uh, uh, does it see, when you watch the movie, did it, were you thinking deja vu? I mean, are, are, in a lot of ways, <laughs> yes, in a lot of ways. You're thinking, well, wait a minute, that hap that's exactly how it happened here. Yeah. Well, and it, and it also shows um, in the video how it, they actually have a map of the United States, and it shows where this is taking place. This isn't uncommon, so we shouldn't feel... Um, a shame or alone in, in what happened here. It really, these embezzlements are happen, happening everywhere. And, and my personal view on that is our country has kind of shifted away from, you know, we're taught that, that government's great. We learn about Thomas Jefferson and George Washington and all these, these great leaders that did all these wonderful things for us. And so we, we inherently trust our government to just run the show and we go on about our regular everyday lives and we don't check in. And that's, unacceptable. Um, citizens have to remain involved. That's why the invitation is extended for all citizens to come to this event on the 24th. Um, all of our newly elected, all of our currently elected, all of our town and county employees, every ordinary citizen, we, we have to all ask questions and keep our eyes on, on our money because that tax dollars are, are all of our money. So we can't well, just turn people loose. Let's hope it's a sellout and we have to have a second showing. I, I think that would be amazing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That would be amazing. I just, and, you know, people, more people yeah. have been showing up to things. And I think uh, if we can get the word out, uh, it's happening on November 24th. It's mm -hmm. a Sunday afternoon yes. at 2 o'clock at the yes. Warren County Community Center. So let's yes. mark that on our calendar and we'll put this up on the Royal Examiner. And we'll keep plugging it away, and we'll share this over on Facebook. And I know you'll share it around, and we'll keep sharing it yes. until we get enough people to show up. So I think it'll be a great thing. And, yeah. and more and more things like this, we need people need to be involved in their government. It's not mm -hmm. just check the box and go home. That's we right. need to keep an eye. And I always like to use the thing: will you inspect what you expect. That's rule of management 101. Exactly. You know, and I don't think I don't see where our government would be any different that we should be inspecting what we expect from our government. Right. That's what mm -hmm. we need to do. So when are you all going to run for public office? You see how I, I segued that into yeah, the you interview? Yeah, just sort of subtly <laughs> cast it in there. I've asked Melanie before. And told her, <laughs> I'm too busy. I don't have time. I know. Yeah. I said, well, now that all this is over, you got, oh, it's just like trying to schedule this time. Oh, we're too busy. We got, your calendars are filled up. So. I'm a homeschooler. <laughs> I'm teaching <laughs> first grade you. and fourth grade. And <laughs> you, 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 you have to learn it two days in advance so you can teach it to your kids, <laughs> don't you? Well, thankfully right now, I still know more than they do, but it's going to get worse. <laughs> you know, are you smarter than a fifth grade? Wait till you get the fifth right, grade. Right, wait till you get the fifth grade. I've watched grade. that show and I'm thinking, yeah. I don't know any, I didn't learn that in fifth grade. <laughs> maybe college, maybe. But anyway, we digress. But it, it all boils down to community involvement, um, people paying attention to what's going on uh, and, and speaking out when they don't like it, get the answer. Just don't accept things. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. Education. Education, Edu education is the education. key it is. to improvement. Well, it is. Yeah. And I think we all have to be lifelong learners. Mm -hmm. That's we what do. we should always be con You know, people, well, I graduated from high school, college, I'm done. Well, that's when the things just begin. That's yeah. exactly you know, That's right. the beginning, not that's the right. end. And question. Always, question. Always ask questions. Uh, well, that's like when you're, well, you have a young one. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing they learn? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah. And I think we need to continue to do that as Absolutely. we get older. Mm -hmm. We normally get, hushed up. No, you don't need to know why. You know, that's just because. Because that's what's our favorite response. Right. Because, right? Well, as adults now, we've learned uh, we need to know more why. That is absolutely correct. And we're going to find out some why on Sunday, November 24th. Correct. See how I segue that in there? That's pretty cool. All right. November 24th, 2 o'clock at the Warren County Community Center, Correct. the old Simons Public Library on Villa Avenue. It's 2 o'clock, no charge. It's a great documentary on how this one um, EDA people embezzled, what was it, like 50? It was the, com the comptroller. Yeah. Yeah, it was 50-some-odd million. 53 million. 53 million. A lot of yeah. money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, a lot. Uh, you know, if it was a dollar, it's too much, I think. Right. Right. Well, if you only see a dollar, there's probably some more behind it. Exactly. <laughs> there's always. So I think this will be an eye-opening event yes. for us to look at and to kind of say, hey, uh, we'll see ourselves in this mm -hmm. movie, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And I hope it gives us hope. Oh, I hope it does. I think it will. Yes. Melanie seems to be, uh, she's not going to give us the tail end of the movie, but <laughs> I think we'll have to watch and see. But it sounds like it would be very interesting. All right, one more time. War November the 24th, 2 o'clock, Warren, Memor Warren Memorial. 
<laughs> Warren Community Center on Villa Avenue. All right? Correct, yes. Good. We'll Thank see you, you there. So much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.